Hey, it's Jack from Jack Gately Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. Let's take a look at the market update for March 2022, which is really, of course, the numbers from February 2022. Let's dive right into it. And we have a new low of total single family homes that are available on the first of the month. This is not good news if you're buying a home. 1,875 homes available statewide as of March 1st. Now, I did look up to see if the number had moved up as it typically does as the month goes along. Today is March 9th when we're recording this update, and there's now 2,100 homes available. But as you can tell from the chart, wow, that is really, really low. Uh, this chart, we've actually, at times, we've uh, hit 6,000. Uh, we are we are way way down on the inventory since since it crashed say uh, in October started to crash in October of 2021. So let's take a look at how this impacts uh, how long it takes you to sell your home. We have a very interesting observation I'm going to share with you coming up very soon. Well, let's take a look first at how fast it takes to sell your home. Days to offer is 26 days. Remember this is statewide. And that's been within the range, pretty much average, although it's going up a little bit. It's been going up a little bit for a while, a couple months. Uh, but, you know, that's fairly good. Now, this is what I want to show you. This is this is an interesting thing that I, that I noticed. Remember now, on average, it takes 26 days from when you put your house in the market to when you accept an offer. Check out this piece of, uh, this little nugget that I found. Check this out. I know there's a lot of numbers on this page, but look at what I highlighted. We're looking at the average days on market for those 1,875 properties available as of March 1st. And the average days on the market for those properties is 80. Now, on average, it takes 26 days to accept an offer. But the houses that are on the market now have been on the market for an average of 80 days. What does that tell me? There's really only one reasonable conclusion I could make. One of four, uh, four subsets, I guess. One, there's some type of tragic flaw with these listings. Or it looks really bad on the internet, like the agent didn't write up a good listing description, the photos look awful. Or when you get there, it looks awful. Or lastly, four, it is wildly overpriced. In other words, when you have so few listings on the market, the good stuff is sold. It's picked over, right? It, this is like going to buy a turkey for Thanksgiving Thursday morning, right? That, that doesn't work. You're not going to get the best turkey. So... That's what you're looking at in terms of selection. There's there's not a lot to pick from. All the good ones have already been sold. And if it takes 26 days on, on average to accept an offer and the remaining houses have been on the market for 80 days, that means there's not a lot of great pickings out there. You get my point. Average sales prices are holding fairly steady. Uh, February number was 643. 866 and it's been in a pretty tight range there with just about 640 650ish for quite some time uh, last spring it did kind of bump up to almost 7000 but we've eased off from that um not a big story here i just want to show you one other thing and we're going to wrap this up with today's uh, one other chart watch this february closings february closings 2177 2177 you'll notice that's the lowest it's been in the last year and a half or something like that even lower than last february and last january uh which brings us to the wrap up here on today's video where are we going for the spring market first off i can say antidotally with the agents in my office we've got some significant activity going on. It, it, you know, you get that, you know, spring market coming up and you, you feel optimistic that we're going to be putting on some property on the market. We're going to have some buyers. So I, you, I'm definitely seeing a little bit more activity in the last month from my agents, which would, you know, would it be a preview of listings going on the market in April and May? Um, 
On the other hand, as Gary Keller said from Keller Williams, you know, he used my line the other day that we're in uncharted territory. I wonder if he watches my, he must be watching my videos. Um, we are in uncharted territory. It seems as if we go from like crisis to crisis, and that certainly has a huge impact upon the economy. First, we had the virus for two years, and now we're into this Ukrainian situation. Uh, it, it, and this is having massive impacts, of course, upon the economy. How can we make this video without talking about the price of fuel and where and how that's going to impact the real estate market? We've been talking about uncharted territory for quite some time when relative to the virus. And now we're into a, a totally like another uh, part of the uncharted universe to go where no market has gone before. So stay tuned. I'm Jack Gately from Jack Gately Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. Have a great month. See you next month. Bye-bye.